Okay, we have to start over. No, we can keep going. This no. is cool. so close to finding out the gender of this baby and then revealing their name to you we decided that now would be a good time to do the 10 baby names we love but won't be using at least not this time there are a couple that might come up for discussion again when we have a third baby right well this might be the second and third baby if matthew's convinced we're having twins we've had an ultrasound I'm there is only one baby it's that hasn't been ruled out yet it has been ruled out i wasn't there he Conspiracy. because I, my stomach is so large i'm so moody and i was so sick not moody just sick he's convinced and you're pretty pregnant that's his nice way of saying that I'm enormous. What? And so he's convinced there's two babies, even though we've had an ultrasound and there was one baby. It's a conspiracy theory. No. Illuminati. Okay. No. There's one baby, you guys. Don't get excited. Nobody get excited. One get excited. baby. No. <laughs> so we have five girl names and five boy names to share with you that are names that we love but aren't using, at least this time. So shall we start with girl names or boy names? Up to you. I don't know. Let's start with girl names. So the first girl name that we will not be using that we love is... That we love? Okay, that's not the one I love. Okay. Well, you might not love this one as much anyway. Is Melania. I never liked that name, but I get your... I get that you like it. You get that I like it. It's one that I really thought I was ultimately going to be able to convince Matthew to use. Um, I thought that it went well with Luciana, who is our older daughter, um, without being too matchy, but still sounding like they could be siblings. I really liked the idea of the nickname Millie. I thought that was really cute. I'm a really big fan of the musical Thoroughly Modern Millie, which is kind of a lame reason, but that's part of the reason I really loved that nickname. But, um, it's a musical. It is a musical. But when the current president was elected and his wife's name is Melania, we had to eliminate it. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with our political views per se. Had Hillary been on our list and she'd been elected, we would have eliminated that one also. It just is the name now gets so much more attention and that child wouldn't be able to introduce herself to anybody without that being the topic of conversation. Yeah, we don't like popular names. We're Matthew and Emily. There were multiple Matthews and Emilys in our class all the time. In fact, the same week we got married, in the newspaper, there was another couple, Matthew and Emily, who got married. Like, that's how common our names are, so it's something we try to avoid. It was very annoying to say, no, I'm Matthew such and such, no, I'm Matthew P. And it was like, I, I actually, in my sixth grade class, there was five other Matthews. Yeah, so that's something we pay attention to, is names that are gonna get too much attention. Um, not that, I don't know that Melania will necessarily get super popular, but, um, you never know until it's too late. Right. And just the attention and the, the, if our kid had this name, that would be the topic of conversation every time she introduced herself to somebody new. So we eliminated it. The next girl name that we love but will not be using is... It was Mia. Mia. We really liked Mia. We, we actually both really like Mia, right? Mm. But we have a very Italian last name and with our last name, it sounds like the name of a pizzeria. <laughs> so mm. we had... We just had to eliminate it. It didn't work. It I'm not a big fan of MMs either. Yeah, it's, it's, so our last name also begins with M. Matthew grew up as MM, so it's a really hard sell for us to get. And for being, me the, to get. being the big kid, the same initials as a candy was not fun. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know that you completely rule out M's, but it's a hard sell. He has to. I have to really, really push right. for a name that starts with M. Okay, so the next girl name that we love, well, I think it's mostly I love but won't be using is Annalise. I, again, I love this one. I just think it's classic, not too popular. Something I liked about it was um, if we could, I wanted to avoid a num another name that ended, ended in A. I don't want our kids' names to be super matchy or rhymey or um, have the same first letter. So I was even trying to avoid other names that also end in A since we already have Luciana. And so that's one of the reasons I really liked this one. But, it's like you're describing your relationship. Like, I got this, this, and a lease. <laughs> like, he, th he thinks like of a lease on a car or leasing an apartment. That's all I can think of. But I thought Annie would be cute, but no, no go. So another name that we love, but will not be using, is Cambria. Um, we thought that was really, we both really like it. It was almost Lucy's name. Yeah, it really was a major contender for um, our first daughter's name, but 
and we liked the shortened cami. We thought that was pretty cute, but we cannot agree on spelling. I would rather go traditional spelling with a C, and Matthew really likes it spelled with a K. Yep. So that is where we clash, and that's how that one got eliminated. Because mm -hmm. we first talked about it was with a K. We did. I, I changed my name on spell on um, changed my name. I changed my mind on spelling. Um, because when we were this is to be clear, this is a name that we've been discussing since we were first together, like before we were married, when we first started talking about, oh, when we have children someday. And at that time traditional spelling was not as important to me as it is now. Now I just feel like um, for ease for our children, I prefer to have names spelled the traditional way. And so it's it's something I felt strongly enough about that it's what eliminated this name is we can't come to an agreement on spelling. And the fifth and final girl name that we love, well, one of us loves and will not be using is, is... Samantha. Matthew's loved this name for a long time. I really hate it. Ever since I first thought about having kids before you. Yeah, I know. I was like, I want a Samantha, a I little know. Sammy. And you guys, I really feel terrible about it. I've tried to think of like nicknames I might like that, to try to make it better. I've tried to think... <laughs> If you know the nicknames she thought of to hate it, Sam I Am a Man and Samu. Okay, in my defense, I knew Four Sam's daughters. who got no, I knew Sam's who got ridiculed that way. And so that sticks out to me. I don't want that for my daughter. And I also just plain don't like the name. I tried to find see if I could find any variations of that so he could still use the nickname Sammy. I just I really don't like it. So it's been eliminated for baby number two. It might be brought back into discussion. For future children. For three? So if it's a, this is a third one? I'm not saying that I would do it. I'm saying so we can just revisit. So with the twins at the second one? <laughs> we're out. not having twins. Oh my god. Always hope. Always hope. No. I I really don't think we will ever have a daughter named Miss Samantha, but. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Matthew. I shouldn't say that out loud. Matthew really loves it. Mm -hmm. And I we do revisit it occasionally, and I, I try, but I really don't like it. You don't try at all. <laughs> Is her trying? No. <laughs> True. Okay, so now on to five boy names that we love but won't mm -hmm. be using. Do you want to start? Yeah, there was Giovanni that I hate. <laughs> Matthew really doesn't like Giovanni. I quite <laughs> like it. <laughs> Giovanni. It's so old. It's, it's like a mobster name. Again, with our last name, it is pretty, pretty mobstery. So it's been eliminated. It's one that I would like to bring up for discussion, kind of like he wants to bring up Samantha for discussion with another baby. It's one I'd like to put on the back burner, but I'm well aware he hates it. It's probably not going to happen. The back burner's on. It's on fire now. Oh, okay. Maybe gone. Okay. Um, another boy name that we love but will not be using is Austin. I like that name. It's a family name. Yeah, Matthew really likes Austin. It's from my grand my mom's mother's side. Yes, Grandma Marley, who Lucy's middle name Marlis is after. Yeah, she had all, she had a uncle Austin, I think. Yeah, uncle, and. I just, I have two problems with this name. One, I'm not a huge fan of place names. Nothing personal, it's just something I don't love. And two, there's no real way to shorten it. And that's not like, oh, he has to have a cute nickname. It's just an acknowledgement of who I am. I shorten names. My sister's name is Mary, and I was the very first person to call her Mare. It's just what I do. Tintin? Tintin. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> no. a, little, a little cap on, a little, <laughs> no. little doggy. The thing is, Austin, Texas, and Austin, other Austins are probably named after a cool dude nicknamed Austin. Oh, well, I'm sure that's true. I'm sure the city is originally named after sure that, a person. The, the name's older than those places, I bet. I'm, I'm sure you're right, but I just am not a fan. Stone Cold Steve Austin? Mm, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I don't like what? it. That's what he says. No. <laughs> I had no idea. So the third boy name that we love but won't be using is... Brock. This is another one that I really like. But it's short for Broccoli the Vegetable. <laughs> and Broccoli is the character Naruto. And he is like the comedic relief, so... I just love Brock. To me it just sounds like a good, strong, masculine name. I worked with the Brock that was a good, strong idiot. <laughs> That's another problem we have as men. Matthew <laughs> eliminates names big time based on people he's known. So Brock is completely out. Yes. <laughs> Another boy name that we love but will not be using is Noah. And this is another one that we discussed kind of along around the same time that we were talking about Cambria. We both really liked it. We both really like it because of the oh, we, Yeah, we both really enjoy the notebook. That's kind of where it came up for us. I should have said that. <laughs> I kind of like the notebook. It yeah. was alright. Matthew's a closet, it's softy. But, what? <laughs> but anyway. Don't go that. Oh, got it. 
But anyway, we both really like Noah, but the problem with Noah is it's way, way, way too popular. No, especially from the notebook. Yeah, once a lot of us, I think, who- I wrote just... you every day for a year. <laughs> yeah, so it's just way too popular. There are way too many Noahs. So it's one, well, it also has the no nickname issue, but it is one that we may discuss, you know, with baby number four, if Noah has died down in popularity by then, right? You can't think of a nickname? No, I am. What? I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Matthew's on a mission. Mm -hmm. So the fifth boy name that we love but will not be using is more of one that I love and Matthew hates. It's just opposites. Yes. And that is Malachi. I just absolutely love this name. It's really, if it were entirely up to me, it might be our first son's name. Well, that's not true. Maybe second son's name. But um, I don't know. I love it that it's not like a made up name, but it's very underused and I, I don't even know anybody named Malachi in person, but Matthew actually does. I don't like Malachi because it's Mal is bad. Right. It's like I would go with the, I would go with the nickname Kai. Yeah, <laughs> Matthew hates it. Yo, Kai. <laughs> and then I worked with the Malachi that was all, he was, so Brock was big, strong, and dumb. This guy was just dumb. I hope poor Malachi and Brock don't watch my videos. If they do, that's why they're both fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. I just really don't like the name Malachi. Yeah, even before he, and this is another one that we've been discussing for a long time, and it, he, we were discussing it before he ever even met that Malachi. I just don't like it. Yeah. This, I don't know. We, we kind of talked about maybe going Mordecai, which is like, Kind of, um... Mordecai and the Rigby's? Yeah, that was the one reason I might have been able to get him on board with that one was because... I like that one. ...of, um, regular show. There you go, he nailed it. That's the right one. I liked regular show. I know, but I usually don't... Yeah, you have the Mordecai and the Rigby's shirt. I know, Carrie is the only one who knew what that was from. It's a good shirt. It is a good shirt. We, there was a time where we were, like, maybe gonna compromise with Mordecai. Yeah. But I don't think it's gonna... We're gonna do that either at this point. Call Morty? Like Rick and Morty, he's just like oh, the trifecta boy. of all of Dad's favorite we cartoons. That one. <laughs> maybe if this baby's a boy, he's Mordecai. We might have to eliminate the other one. <laughs> the one that we're going with. Yeah, I guess so. It's <laughs> a good one. Ugh. Morty. Morty. Maybe if we have a second boy. That might be the top of the list now. Really? So that's our ten baby names that we love but won't be using, at least not this time. Um, let me know if you guys have any names that you love, but for whatever reason can't use. Maybe it's your partner doesn't like it, or you know, you've had to eliminate it for some other reason. And maybe this kind of gave you an idea of our naming style. So if you think you have guesses, what? It's just chaos. <laughs> just chaos, true. There's, they're kind of all over the place. It's just nerf darts with names on them, we shoot at a wall and be like, all right. <laughs> but hey, maybe you can give it a shot and guess what you think this baby's name might be because we do have names picked out. You know, we have a girl name and we have a boy name. Mm -hmm. And for the record, some people will ask, the boy name is the same boy name that Lucy would have had if she were a boy. Um, we didn't, I know some people get like emotionally attached to that name with that baby. That's not the case for us. This name that we have picked out, we've always known if we ever have a son, this will be his name. It's, yeah, this group of names. Yeah, first and middle That's the together. Whole thing, yeah. yeah, first and middle together. And um, in that order. Yeah, we've known that for years, um, probably right after we got married, and we've been married for almost seven okay. years. So, <laughs> anyway, because we're that weird, right? It's not weird. Yeah. The plan your future with the one you love. That's true. Aw, Matthew's big softy. Okay, so that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Let us know if there's any other videos you want us to do together. Let me know if you like seeing more of Matthew, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you ruin everything. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> I'm gonna turn this up before I'm blind. <laughs>